<laughs> what I just did was also fucked up. <laughs> uh, fuck that alien dog, bitch. who were supposed to be watching my back. Friggin' death robot wants to come and munch my friggin' face coming up behind me. Everybody's got a gun. Nobody decided to, you know, to shoot the thing that's trying to kill the freaking leader. Thanks a lot, guys. Much appreciated, friends. Joe, I'm kicking you off the Tempest for being some dipshit. PB, you lucky you got a blue pussy. You get to stay. Fuck you guys. Nah, don't don't get in here with me. Fuck you guys. I ain't talking to y'all for the rest of the fucking day. Fuck you guys. Uh, I need to go fucking talk to Suvi now, I believe. Suvi, I got your weird alien plant. Do me a favor, and unlike that freaking weird rock, don't lick it. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off to And the first and thing she says is she's got a recipe in mind for how to prepare it. And I keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. Just not when Gil is glowering at me. <clears throat> I'm not kidding you, G. Fucking Suvi, our Scot our resident Scottish Les. I, I, one of the conversations I had with her, I walked in on her talking with the doctor... And apparently, she did the old lick test. You know how, like, freaking archaeologists would, like, lick rocks and shit to try to tell what they're made out of? Right. Yeah, she apparently did that with some weird alien rock and, like, got a rash, I think, inside her mouth. That she had to take medicine for. That's why I said, Suvi, please do us a favor and don't lick this. First thing out of her mouth. I've got a recipe. You're like, fuck! What did I say about licking things from alien planets, damn it? 